Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Duke Nukem 3D as played with the Duke Plus mod on the Eduke 32 port on the Come Get Some difficulty. I'm Blood Eyed Dragon and this is Episode 3, Map 5, Movie Studio. Damn, that's the second time these aliens back to shot up my ride. Sure is, Duke. Better do what you've always done about it. Just keep shooting back. Boy, that did never goes as according to the plan. Never mind, we'll just give the piggies both barrels like we always do. And then we'll go up to this gate with the rocket launcher and just throw a couple of rockets inside that computer studio. And then we're gonna go around the corner and pop these guys full of rockets. And then we'll have a bloody Fat Commander chasing after us for picking up the blue key card. Thank God, Never well, usually works out according to plane, does it? Also, here's the helicopter crash. With the broken water pipes and the mangled helicopter wreck and the pig cop who was there because, well, reasons. Who knows? Uh, before we go inside the movie studio itself now, I'm going to point out that I'm not doing 100% kills on this map because you can't get 100% kills anyway. Because if you go for the 100% kills, you can't get the secret exit. I'll explain it further as we go. For now, let's just give everyone both barrels inside this studio. This whole studio area is pretty much based on the Lunar Apocalypse episode 2. Because apparently D Duke was going to make a movie about that. Because, sure, why not? Anyone else? Nope. Just Trooper Dude spawning in from outside. Including one from behind a secret. There he is. We're gonna go inside there and take the secret now. Actually, can we get that atomic health again? Oh, no, we haven't gotten that atomic health yet, have we? We got the blue key card, but we never got the health. Okay. Well, uh, let's not get that just, oh, hang on, we got the big kit here, cool. So we'll just use this computer on the right with the blue screen of death and we can pick up a couple of atomic health. For some reason it's picking up all three of them anyway. Well, fuck you then, game. See if I give a shit. There's more atomic health lying around anyway. And we've got a second secret here. We'll just have to open up the crates. Somewhere. Not sure how to pick, uh, actually open up those crates properly. Oh, you just step on it. Okay. And then apparently you can just open up the crates after that, which sure go figure, I guess. Yeah, apparently after you open them up with the time door, you can just open them up casually. I'm not sure how that even works, but. Okay. And there's the Imperium Cannon if you need it. Sure thing. Uh, now, we go, now we're just going to 17B, which is the second part of one of the first studios to the Lunar Apocalypse. The second one is behind the yellow door. And it looks like more people have arrived from the outside. Let's get to work on them. Oh, no jetpack yet. Cool, we can just jump across again. That's fine. And... Well, it's... 
Episode 2 theme, this particular studio part. Doesn't look like it's based off of any of the particular maps though. The secret level exit is also here by the way, along with the yellow key card And the jetpack. Uh, so there's the secret level access. So just to take a quick pause, uh, if we go for the standard exit in this map, the walls come crashing down on us and we can't get out. We can't go back up. So there's no going to the secret exit. So, but in when, on your way towards the regular exit, enemies spawn in that you can kill. So you just, you either get 100% kills or you get the secret exit. You have to make a choice. And I made, I've made my choice. So there. With that said, into the second Duke Nukem Studio, which kind of looks like it's roughly shaped after the bridge comms in Star Trek shows. We also have a third secret inside this studio as well, which is behind the planet Earth. Just have to jump into the, this wall here somewhere. I can see where the texture is actually misaligned. Trying to work out what the fourth. Well, I've only got two out of four so far, so that's fine. I've also got a shrinker and a second jetpack. Was it this? I think this is. This will be the third, fourth secret, even. I think we just have to jump on the crate. Or did I get that one already? I got that one already. And it must have been this one up here that I've missed. Yeah, it is. And then there's the trigger. And there's the assault commander. Or the fat commander. And that's all four secrets. So now all we really have to do is just find whatever kills remain and finish off the finish them off. Do I, did I pick up the red key card? Probably not. Because we gotta. Gotta play around with the Duke viewfinder for out of space things. What did that even do? Oh! Must open up the goggles. So it did! And I don't even use goggles all that often, if ever, so. Nice little uh, unmarked secret there. Just set off a battle order as a result. Oh, and I think the few extra kills come from running around inside vents to take out these slimers. Yeah, that looks about right. Well, looks like I got them all. Now it's just time to take on the Battle Lord. We know how to take him on. Like that. Would have been more sufficient if you brought a few buddies with you, pal. Because that's the end of the movie studio now. Not really one of the most difficult maps compared to the last two, if you ask me, by any stretch. So, yeah. Uh, I think that button opened up the regular exit, which is right there. Well, I think we forgot to flip the switch. I just want to show it off for a quick second. We've got to keep an eye out for that. It's Health too. There it is. Ah, that's the switch. And that opens up the door that leads to the standard subway exit. Which is right there. And we're not going to go there because I want the secret exit. Which I'm really stressing the hell out of. Anyway, that's it. Off to the secret exit then. <laughs>